And we do this for the cage breakers. We out here. Somebody who works hard, believes in themselves, but doesn't really get the credit they deserve, is my little sis. And she's a cage breaker. Shea Kells, straight out of Denver. One of the things about Kells, she works extremely hard and she believes in herself. And a lot of people had doubted her all throughout her journey, but she proved each and every person wrong. You know, she started at the University of Colorado. Well, hey, let's take it back, let's take it back. East High School, Player of the Year. Denver Post, All-State, number one player, led their team to a state championship, Miss Colorado Basketball, all honors she balled out. And what happened after that was she signed to the University of Colorado. And many times you'll get moves like this. You'll see Phil Lindsay to the Broncos, you'll see LeBron, you know, going to the Cavaliers. You'll see a lot of people who are just at home, you know. Um, and in this case, this is what happened. She stayed home, it was a big deal. However, her coaches left. And with this, she signed, they had new coaches, and you know, everything was kind of a mess. But she said, you know what, I'm gonna ride it out. Um, she went to see you, her first game, she scored 25 points had a lot of rebounds. She just was balling that first game. I remember being there in the stands watching her and she just was balling. And what happened was she just wasn't feeling CU um, at the time. She wasn't feeling it. Coaches left. It just wasn't where she wanted to be. And um, you know, she wasn't feeling it. So she decided to leave. And what happened with this was when she left, a lot of people doubted her. A lot of people said she would never get back to a high level. She would never play ball. You know what I mean? A lot of people just doubted her and put limits on her, but she believed in herself. She even told me, she's like, bro, I gotta do this. Watch what happens though. And what happened was she went to a JUCO in Florida. And you know, obviously JUCO has this stigma with it. You know, everybody was still talking smack. But what she did in Florida at this JUCO was she went down there, she broke records, made an impact instantly and became a top 10 JUCO All-American. And in just one season, she took over at the JUCO level. She broke records. And this led to her going to um, Old Dominion. And at Old Dominion, in two seasons, she balled out. She scored a, a thousand plus points, you know, rebounds. She broke many records. Um, and she was all, uh, all conference. First team, all conference, you know? And the thing about Kells was she took, care of, she took care of business in the classroom as well. So this led to her being able to transfer. And what she did was, you know, she was like, I, I accomplished everything I needed to at ODU. I want to take it a step further. And she went to University of Minnesota. And at Minnesota, again, she balled out, took over. First team, all conference, all American, you know, she's all in the Minnesota history books. She, she's amazing. Um, and this all started with her believing in herself, you know. And then, still, people wanted to limit her. They still wanted to doubt her. You know, even after a stellar career in Minnesota, they still doubted her, you know, and she did amazing with the Gophers. But what happened? Sis got drafted by the Minnesota Lynx and she took over at the Minnesota Lynx. You know, a lot of people didn't get she would think she would get drafted. But what happened with the Minnesota Lynx was she won a championship, a WNBA championship. OK, she got to meet President Obama. All right. And this is why she is a cage breaker. Okay, because she didn't let anybody limit her. She let nobody limit her and she believed in herself. And that's what you got to do. You got to believe in yourself, okay? And that's why she's a cage breaker. The queen of the hill, Denver's own Shay Kelly. Y'all better start putting some respect on her name too. She's a legend. Cage breakers, we out here.